I assume that we all love Ray Harryhausen. I sure do. Whilst the first film which Harryhausen worked on the VFX was 1949's Mighty Joe Young as an assistant animator, it was on 1953's The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms where he was in full charge of the film's technical effects. Harryhausen creates for film posterity the beautiful Redosaurus. Redosaurus is one of the great movie monsters. Alive, fluid, emotive, it captures our senses, its slick movement is hypnotic, its bellows inspire a smile. Redosaurus is awoken in the Arctic Circle by a nuclear bomb test. It eventually makes its way to Manhattan, stomping across the streets, terrifying the populace, and causing immense damage to the helpless metropolis. This film's director was one Eugene Lurie. Born in Ukraine and moving to France in his youth, Lurie worked in the film industry as a production designer, collaborating with the legendary likes of Jean Renoir, Max Offels, and René Clair. Lurie would probably be most proud of his assistance on the productions of Renoir's La Grande Illusion and The Rules of the Game. Lurie accompanied Renoir upon his migration to Hollywood and actually made his directorial debut with The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms. While as this film was a commercial success, unfortunately for Lurie, he found himself typecast as a director of monster and dinosaur films, which he came to regret. He would also subsequently direct the Colossus of New York, the Giant Behemoth, and Gorgo, which haven't nearly the warm reputation of the Beast from 20,000 Fathoms. So if you could not already tell, I thoroughly enjoy this film. It makes me rather happy to watch it. This film was released for year before the original Godzilla, and it's probably safe to assume that it was a major source of inspiration for Ishiro Honda's film. To be honest, I much prefer Fathoms to the original Gojira, which is not a film I'm overly enamoured toward. I like a lot of Ishiro Honda's other work, although I feel as though he much improved from his original Go Gojira, namely 1964's Mothra vs. Godzilla, which I like more than both of these films. I enjoy many of the films which feature Harryhausen's wonderful effects, and this one is no exception at all. At barely 80 minutes long, time flies by and the world outside disappears whilst we witness the carnage of the mighty Redosaurus.